me show you where I live. So this is the neighborhood, the area called uh, Okad in, um, in Salala. And you see it's a residential area. There are beautiful villas. Look at this villa. You know, the Sultan uh, in Oman, they give a piece of land for free to every uh, person who is uh, 18 years old up, women, women and men. So they give a piece of land where they can build their own house. Here we go. You see there are the mountains there. People who live in the mountains are called the Jabali. They live there in the mountains. Okay, let's go. Today is Friday, Friday morning. In this moment it's 12.30, so there is the, um, the function, the Friday morning function at the mosque. Sometimes you can find some motorbikes here, scooters, but in Muscat you find very little because it's more, there's more traffic and it's different. You know, Salala is smaller. So we are going towards the mountains now. It's a little bit more relaxed here. Salala people, Dufari people, Dufari is the governor right here in the south. They are a little bit more relaxed, I guess. So, look at this villa, so big. I saw some, noticed some cows there in the morning. I don't know if they're still there. I don't think so, it's too hot now. Yeah, so there are cows there. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Hello, but I don't go there. They are in the shade. Okay. So, here we go. And there are some camels here. You see? Camels. I think they are eating. Let's go and check. Oh, the small one. <laughs> Definitely sweet, huh? Oh, a camel is coming. So, I hope he's not creating a problem here. I guess he is coming. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, I'm a little afraid. So. <laughs> okay. I'm not coming, don't worry. I don't think he can jump, but he's trying for sure to get out of there. Thanks God there is a fence. Okay, let's go back. Here is our villa. Here we are. So I'm going to show you where I live. This is the villa. So this is the garden. These nice flowers. Flowers of the desert, let's say. Yeah. And this is actually my bedroom. So I'm gonna show you. Okay, let's go inside. Ah, the villa is beautiful. Okay. And that is a big, big entrance. This is one uh, of the living rooms. It's really beautiful. You can see, uh, they usually in this country, they sit down, not on chairs when they meet, but on the pillows. Here there are supposed to be some carpets, very big carpets, but they wash them, they are in the laundry, so they are not ready yet. This is one of the toilets. We have uh, two, three, four bathrooms here. This is one of them. You can see bathrooms here have always uh, bought this, they call it Westerner style toilet. 
and this is the other they call it Turkish this is the shower and then we have the other bathroom which is the one I'm using right now so you see I have all my stuff here yeah and then ready to wash so that is my bathroom this is my bedroom and the, the sun is beautiful from here especially when there is the sunset uh, this is my bedroom and it's really really nice so his bed is very big it's really beautiful there is another room there another bedroom a small bedroom and here where they put some stuff for the house these are tents for camping tents this is the frankincense i told you in Oman, they use the incense for uh, keeping out the bad spirits, bad things from the house. Gin, they call gin, and they also use it to purify the air. So uh, that's what I use. Sometimes I, I put this frankincense, and this is a frankincense burner. We have a three, four different styles, you see. This is what they use in Oman houses. And this is the frankincense. We have different types of frankincense here. You see, we still have some. Here is the kitchen. The kitchen is super big. Also from here you can see the sunset. The kitchen is really big. And uh, these are stuff and where you wash them, this is going to the garden, you see, where I was before. There is another living room here. It's really beautiful. It's full of light in the morning. Now we can open. This is where my cat comes every morning for breakfast. She enters from here. So this is the view. You see the mountains, the surroundings. It's really, really quiet and beautiful here. Sometimes in the evening you can see the camels coming or the cows coming. And uh, there is quite nothing. There is my computer. And that's where I work with my computer quietly. I'm going to show you upstairs now. So basically you, you thought that maybe here you have another floor, but usually in Omani houses you don't have these two floors. Sometimes you have, you do have, but in this case we just go to the roof. And this is the roof. This is the noise because it's the water pump. My neighbors are very far. They rent it in the, in the summer, why? Because in the summer here we have a, a, something called the Karif in Salala is when the um, monsoon are coming from India. It's only June, July, August. In September it will finish. Everything becomes so green because it rains here and there is fog. The temperatures drop to even 12 degrees or 10 degrees in the mountains and in the city maybe 18 17 degrees it's very it's cool for them so what happens that when there is this kharif season people from all over the gulf countries which are uh, qatar bahrain united arab emirates saudi arabia they come here and to enjoy the fresh weather the cool weather also from all over oman so really salala during kharif is super full of people uh, inshallah, in, uh, if God will, in uh, July I will be back here, so I will show you Kharif, and uh, it's really nice, and you will see full of people completely different, the, the, it's changing the weather. The Kharif is only up to the mountains here in Salala. If you cross the mountains, there is the desert, the Rubal Khali desert, the empty quarter, and you cannot see any uh, Kharif, of course, there. It's only this side. So what happens here in Oman, in, in Dufar, in, in Salala, people can make good money because people are coming here and they spend a lot of money for renting houses and apartments. So um, that's where this villa will be rent. So that is Kharif from June until September. Now it's winter time. Now we are at the end of December. It's winter, so it's pretty cool. It's 28 degrees. The temperature is really nice. It's mostly it's drier than the other times. Like in end of February or March, it starts to be very, very humid here. So yeah, this is what's happening here uh, in Salala. Let's go back. I close here because when it's windy these days, it makes a lot of noise. As I am a little afraid to sleep alone, so it's better if I close all the doors so I don't hear any noise. I still hear noises and I'm still afraid. 
you know, staying here alone, I had really to uh, face my fears and to go out of my comfort zone. My comfort zone would tell me no way that you sleep alone in this house. But I tried to face it and here I am. So that's good. Okay, that's all for now. See you again till the next adventure. Bye-bye.